today's video, we're doing something different. I'm going to show you how I go about maintaining my spray booth. And I'm going to show you the steps I take to make my spray booth go from this to this. I'm going to show you guys how I maintain my spray booth, keep it clean, and make sure my paintwork comes out looking flawless. Very important part is your air filters that go into the spray booth and your air line. You want to make sure that's always clean, always dry, and there's never any oil or water inside it. I usually change all my filters about every six months. That way my system doesn't have to work as hard and my air inside the spray booth is going to be 100% dry. That's going to prevent the fish eyes. If you guys are having problems with your fish eyes in your paint, it's mostly due to the moisture inside your line. This filter and this air right here should be 100% dry with absolutely no moisture inside it or oil, especially oil. So let me check mine. Completely dry, not a single sign of any moisture. So this is the line that goes inside the spray boot, that goes inside my gun, and that sprays the air. So perfect, that's what you wanna see. This is the last part of the RTI filtration system. Everything else we got out back. Let me show you guys, it's right behind the compressor. So those filters I change every six months as well. There's two of them. These filters do have moisture in them, but that's totally fine because it's doing its job. Let me show you guys what I got. This is our compressor tank. It also comes with the dryer, so it dries the air, which is good. So we got our air coming in here from the compressor. It's going up and down through these lines. It's going to these filters right here. So we got two pre-filters, and then this is our desiccant in here. There's two tanks, so it switches from one tank to another. Once the one tank is wet, while that one's drying, it works off this one. And then while this one is drying, it works off that one. So it goes back and forth, and that has a command center right here that regulates that. So this system is a lifesaver. My paint jobs wouldn't be what they are without RTI on my side. And I'm not sponsored by them, unfortunately, so I don't get any free stuff. But we had this system for about five years now and complete game changer. Regarding the spray booth, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change the intake filters. This is where our fresh air from outside gets sucked in and then travels through the spray booth out the exhaust fan. You can see they're looking pretty dark, pretty dirty, so time to change them out. Now that the intake filters are done, we're gonna move on to our exhaust filters. So there's five of them. I got one on each side and then three large ones. So you can see it. This is where all the overspray gets trapped and protects our environment. Number one, gotta protect our environment. When we have new intake and exhaust filters, we have better airflow going. So that actually makes our paint dry quicker, gets rid of all the overspray quicker. So good airflow is key to a good paint job.
right there already because all the filters are white and it just brightens up the whole paint coat. So now we're gonna do the four. We got a brand new grippy mat, same thing like this one except it's green. We're gonna rip up the old mat right now, clean it up real good, vacuum, and then we'll roll out the new mat. Our green mat is installed. I'm just gonna tape all the seams with the cloth tape, see what all ends, so then there, the carpet doesn't come up or anything, and we'll be done. Now I feel like I have to take my shoes off in here, it's so clean. Wow, such a big difference. Now it's pleasant to be in here. Got the brand new intake filters, exhaust filters, new mat. Nice, looks like a putting green. All right, my spray boot maintenance is complete. Everything's installed, the floor is installed, looking good. Yeah, it makes it a lot easier when I pull a car in here and I start masking it. If I need to lay down or crouch or something, it's a lot, it's a lot easier on your feet. You don't get as tired. It's a little softer than concrete, so. And it's a lot easier to keep clean instead of the dust just blowing around on the concrete this one keeps it put and then i just vacuum it at the end of the day or at the beginning of the day i usually vacuum it and it picks up all the overspray and makes it clean again so very important to vacuum it once a day now i can start painting some cars doing my magic making them look like new thank you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoyed the little maintenance process that i do with my spray booth to make sure it's running smoothly all my work is coming out super clean and our customers remain super happy. So that is going to be it for today. I'll see you guys on the next one.